hi hello everyone welcome again so in today's video i am going to share a uh, very brief details upon the velocity widget how we can configure velocity widget in our azure devops dashboard so i'm sharing the same project as i project 2023 which we have used for the past uh, azure devops series so in order to configure the dashboard uh, what we have to do is we have to click on the dashboards here from the left pan and here we can see this is kind of a default dashboard but right now there are no widgets here so all we have to do is we have to click on add a widget so we want to add a velocity so we can type here velocity so now we have to select it click on add and click on done editing so now it has added the velocity chart or velocity widget and uh, this is based on some default configuration so it is showing the data and uh, we can see that it is showing this data based on the count of work items and we want our velocity based on the story points so what we have to do is we have to click on these three dots and click on the configure so here we can see the title let's say this velocity is for team a so again simply type it as team a and this is the size we can enlarge or we can shorten this uh, size of the velocity chart uh, using this drop down so right now i'm using the default which is three by two and uh, this chart is currently using stories as a prime uh, work item for the velocity calculation so here we can change instead of count we can make it like sum and sum of story points the default number of iterations is six even though we do not have six iterations in this current setup so but we will keep it uh, as six iterations and if i simply click on save so here we can see the numbers have changed so now it is showing like you know for this particular team the average velocity is nine story points that means you know this team is able to complete nine story points of work in a given iteration so here we can see that in sprint one team completed five story points of work and in sprint two team completed 12 story points of work and another important things to understand is there is something which is marked as completed late so in azure i mean if there are work items user stories or bugs that that have been updated or marked as closed or completed past sprint duration then uh, azure will treat them as completed late so let's say there was a sprint which was ending on 15th of july but the team updated the work items after 15th of july so even though they have completed but it will be categorized as completed late so that's the catch here so we can simply see from this chart like what has been completed on time within the sprint duration and what has been completed late so this is the average velocity so we can always use this number and uh, let's say this particular team is also working on bugs apart from the user story so if you want to understand the bug velocity uh, so we can select the work item type as a bug and for bug i mean let's say we just want to understand the count of work items right so here we can see if we just expand it so we can see like number of bugs or number of defects this team has closed in sprint one it has closed one in sprint two it has closed th uh, three and in the current ongoing sprint it has already completed one item right so this is how we can you know uh, add velocity for our own as i scrum project in our dashboard and uh, this is a small icon like if it is not uh, selected i mean we can just make it as a favorite so that means uh, this is our this becomes our favorite dash dashboard for the team and uh, there could be uh, other widgets as well which can be added like you know we can have a burn down as well some other widgets can also be configured so based on the needs uh, of the project here yeah. So thanks everyone. Thank you for watching this brief video. I hope you liked it and uh, please support this channel and share with uh, you know your other friends and colleagues here. Thank you.